bell pepper quesadillas. Kids really love quesadillas, and peppers are a perfect thing to incorporate in this recipe. Yeah. Since it's the height of pepper season, we're gonna head over to Meyer Produce and see how their peppers grow. Hey there, we're here at Meyer Produce with our friends Molly and Ben, and we're really excited to be using their peppers in today's recipe. Peppers are a part of the nightshade family and are distantly related to tomatoes, eggplant, and potatoes. Did you know that there are over 50,000 varieties of peppers? They are a staple ingredient in so many cuisines all over the world. Some peppers are so sweet that you can eat them raw, but other peppers are so spicy you can hardly handle eating one seed. Why are some peppers so hot? Some peppers contain high amounts of capsaicin, a natural chemical found in peppers that causes that spicy sensation. Capsaicin is most concentrated in the seeds and in the pithy veins surrounding the seeds. In the early 1900s, a pharmacist named Wilbur Scoville was so interested in peppers, he created his own unit of measure, ranking the level of spiciness in each pepper. To this day, people use the Scoville scale to measure the spiciness of peppers. Bell peppers rank up to 100 Scoville units, jalapeno 5,000, and ghost peppers, one of the hottest peppers, ranks over 3 million Scoville units. Did you know that peppers can support your eye health and its potassium can strengthen your muscles? Spicy peppers can increase your circulation and your metabolism. Sweet red bell peppers are also known for being really high in vitamin C. Green peppers are just unripe bell pepper and usually have a really nice savory flavor um, because they don't have the sugars and that sweetness that comes with ripening on the vine. Are you guys hungry? Yeah! Let's head back to the kitchen and get started. For today's recipe is a package of tortillas, one of your awesome bell peppers, a little pad of butter, and some Oaxaca cheese. Our first step is going to be slicing up our pepper, removing all the seeds from the stem, and taking away the little pit. Our next step is we're going to heat our skillet, add a little bit of butter or canola oil, and then we're going to add our peppers. We're going to cook the Our next step is we're going to be using this awesome Oaxaca cheese that's great for melting. You can use mozzarella or any other cheese that you have in the house. Shredding cheese is a great task for your kiddos, just watch out for those fingertips. Once the shredded cheese is all ready, we're going to remove the peppers from the pan and put it into a little bowl. Our next step, we're going to take one quesadilla and we're going to put a little bit of cheese on one side of the tortilla. Once you have your cheese on your tortilla, we're just gonna put some of these sauteed peppers on the cheese. When you have your peppers on your tortilla, we're gonna fold the tortilla in half over the cheese and peppers. When you're all set, you're going to melt a little bit of butter in your saute pan, and then you're going to add your folded quesadillas to the pan. When it's time, just flip your tortilla and your quesadilla on the other side. When you're finished, uh, just slice up your quesadilla, and you're ready to eat. You can eat this with sour cream, salsa.